everybody, this is Praxis, and it would seem that I was able to take care of all the concrete stucco work without having to have water on site. Just used a bunch of these five gallon jugs and, you know, bring a couple of per day. It worked out really well. I've got covered up in plastic here, the last of the stucco work, uh, this and the corresponding side over there. Just did the finish pass on that. Uh, when I was mixing the stucco for this last pass, I made a special effort to try to make sure that I mixed enough so that I could do one continuous pass uh, on, the, on the entire side. Because whenever you're mixing your own and you're mixing Portland with like that S-type mortar uh, kind of mix, uh, depending on the ratio, unless you're actually measuring everything and doing everything exactly the same every time, uh, if you have a little bit more Portland, it cures a little darker, and if you have a little less, it cures a little lighter. So I wanted to have it be uniform over the entire surface. And I failed both times on, on both sides. I was a little bit short, both when I did it over there and then when I came over here, I tried to kind of like blend it as best I could. I guess we'll get to see what the results are over the next few days to see, you know, how much of a patchwork it looks like. Uh, I, I tried to focus the first batch on the areas that you were going to see. And then as it got lower, I, I, when it became obvious I wasn't going to have enough, I, uh, you know, you know, saved the lower areas for the, for the second batch I was going to have to mix up. Uh, you know... I don't have any advice, just be careful, you know. It's always a little bit better to mix more, but I just didn't want to have too much, uh, you know, while I was doing it because th this is the last project and I didn't have anything else to jump onto that I could use it on. So uh, that went pretty well. I'm just about to clean up all the tools over there. Uh, and whenever I've been working and while I'm doing cleanup, I always wear rubber gloves when I work. Uh, this, uh, the concrete can be very caustic on your hands. Uh, and I, as I was working, I developed a hole in one of the fingers, and that finger, it's like, you know, it's just very dry compared to all the other ones. But if you ever are working with concrete and you get some of it on your hands while you're working, and you know your fingers are just all kind of dry later on, one great way of uh, you know rectifying that is aloe vera. Uh, I'm, I've got plenty of aloe vera back home. I'm not planning on actually being home until later on tonight. Uh, but if you put aloe vera all over your skin, if you get a bunch of that concrete dust on it. It really helps a lot and makes it so pretty much it's not it's kind of a non-issue. So that's pretty much it. Uh, today we just had rain yesterday so I'm not going to be doing a ton of carpentry. I think what I'm going to be doing is posts. These kind of vertical posts. Those are pretty easy to do even if the wood's a little bit wet because uh, even if it you know dries out afterwards you can just kind of bang the stuff back together. Doing decking and stuff like that it's not so great when it's wet but I think I'm going to be working on posts. I got all my measurements out as to where all the posts are going to be, uh, you know, upstairs. And I've just, I've got a lot of posts to make and they're all seven foot six inches tall. Uh, I'm going to double check that measurement because whenever you're doing something, you know, there's the measurement it's supposed to be, but then you should really actually check because if there are a little bit, if there were some errors that worked into your design, you don't want to, you know, be making posts that are seven foot six like they're supposed to be, but you find out that the gap is actually seven foot uh, six and eighth, uh, an eighth of an inch or something like that. I guess if it was a little bit smaller, you could always cut your things down, but it's always good to double check your measurements just to make sure that you're fitting things in to the, uh, the space that's actually there as opposed to the space that's supposed to be there. That's it. Thanks for watching.